Hello everyone, Fox here, and what's this news for State of K2? Haven't had that in a little while. Actually, not a whole lot to talk about, so let's just get crack a lack. I'm gonna be talking about the recent announcement of the open beta, and I got two sections for you. Section one will be the when, what, and how big questions, followed by community questions, Q&A segment to Undead Labs. What did I learn from it? Let's get started. And let's kick things off with the big question. When is it coming out? And well, I have no idea. Release date unknown. TBA to be announced. Undead Labs, they seem to hint that it's going to be pretty soon, but an exact day was not given. Next question. What is this open beta? And well, it's essentially a public test server or a beta branch of the game. And what that is, is basically a special build of the game that is one patch level further along than the normal version of State of Decay. And that means it's going to have the future content in the game available for you to mess around with. And what they want to do is basically just throw you in there. It's probably going to be janky, could have unbalanced mechanics, game could be very unstable, and you tell them what's wrong, you try it out, bend it, break it, do whatever you want with it, and hopefully by your feedback they'll be able to fix it so that it arrives in the primary game better balanced and better debugged. Lastly, the final big question is, how do I join the open beta? And hmm, it's exclusive to Steam, I'm afraid. So you're going to have to own State of Decay 2 on Steam. That means it's not available on the Xbox, nor is it available on the Windows Store platform. Now, I know that's probably not the answer that a lot of you guys wanted to hear, but let's go ahead and move into the Q&A segment. This is the part where people watching the stream ask questions, and this is the information I got from the answers to their questions. So the first question was, why are you adding an open beta into a two-year-old game? And the answer that Jeffrey Card gave was that they're hoping to use it to catch bugs and fix balancing issues for the new content that they plan to add into State of Decay before they officially patch it into the primary game. He also said that there will be surveys that will pop up and people can fill out in order for them to collect data on people's opinions on the beta branch of State of Decay 2, and they'll be looking for trends, in other words, patterns of similar comments, and that might inform how they design the game moving forward. Jeffrey Card also said that there will not be an NDA for the open beta, and that makes sense because it is an open beta, not a closed beta. NDA stands for non-disclosure agreement. If you're in a closed beta, you have to agree to one of these non-disclosure agreements where basically it just says you're not allowed to share any information of what you learn in the beta with anyone outside of the beta. Another person asked, how long will the open beta be open? And Jeffrey Card seemed to indicate that they don't really have a closing time, so presumably the beta branch for State of Decay 2 will be open as long as State of Decay 2 is around to be played. Someone else asked, why is it exclusive to Steam? And the official Undead Labs answer is because of familiarity of using Steam for the previous open beta of State of Decay 1. Now, I speculate there is a greater reason revolving around the architecture of the Xbox and the Windows Store platform not being as conducive to these kinds of open betas, but that's just speculation, and they did not talk about that. Next up, they did say that multiplayer will be available in the open beta. That said, beta players can only do multiplayer with other beta players, so you can't have kind of like a cross interaction with beta players to non-beta players. In addition to that, Jeffrey Card seemed pretty sure that you're going to be able to import your community from the main State of Decay 2 game into the State of Decay 2 beta branch, but he did say don't quote him on it because he isn't 100% certain that you'll be able to do that. And lastly, he did say that there are more announcements and projects in development for State of Decay 2, so if you're disappointed that all they've got to talk about is this open beta, to not worry because they got more stuff in the pipeline, according to Mr. Card. 
Anyways, that's all I've got on the State of Decay 2 open beta. I want to know what you think, though, down in the comment section. If you have it on Steam, are you going to play on the open beta? If you don't have it on Steam, are you going to buy State of Decay 2 again to play on the open beta? What do you think? Are you disappointed that this is all they've had to talk about? Let me know what you think down in the comment section. But until next time, boys, like the video if it was informative. Subscribe for future State of Decay 2 content. And of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.